not at all built for or designed for or anything. I know I'm no Einstein here, but let me take a wild guess. Maybe things aren't built for you because you're not supposed to weigh 75,000 fucking pounds. Like, I'm not supposed to hear you when you get out of bed when you live in Oregon and I live in California. Like, the things like that are not supposed to happen. Hey, what's going on, guys? So it's been a while since I've made fun of the fat acceptance group. Now, I've been having withdrawals. Like, I've been having dreams of me just reacting to the stupidest videos and making fun of them. But unfortunately, those videos are really hard to find. So I did end up finding a video that I can actually talk about and not fall asleep during. And this video is not mine. I'll put the link of the channel uh, at the in the description. Before we get started, I do have my Instagram in the description. If you want to see the face behind the voice, I do respond to a lot of the messages. And 95% uh, of you aren't subscribed, so help me get to 2,000. And now let's begin the cringe fest. Before I start, I'm not replying to this comment with a video to call you out or anything. I just get the words out better if I'm talking. So it is incredibly hard to judge the entirety of humanity on a singular scale. The BMI scale is bullshit. It has been proved. Now, I do agree with her here, believe it or not. Uh, the BMI scale I do think is bullshit by itself. But however, that is not, that is not what goes into being classified as obese. Okay, doctors do multiple, multiple studies, multiple uh, tests to make sure that you are obese, including the body fat percentage, the the height to weight, the blood pressure. You know, there's there's multiple things that go into it. So it is not just one thing. That is complete bullshit. Health has nothing to do with how much you weigh compared to how tall you are. Healthy looks different on every single body. Is this nigga serious? Yeah, let's take health advice from McDonald's unofficial mascot. Uh, it makes no sense to me how people can literally sit there and say that healthy looks different on every body. Now, I do agree with that for the small majority of people that go through eating disorders. But for the majority, I think we all know what healthy looks like. And it's not even be super lean with a six pack. It's just don't, don't look like what she looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, be better. Always try to improve yourself. That is the only thing you can do. So using words like obese just to put fat people into a category where they are unhealthy isn't helpful. Fat is a neutral descriptor, just like the word tall. Here comes the bullshit. Now, I know for a fact we can't sit here with a straight face and say that being tall and being fat are very similar. Like, being tall is genetics. Okay, being fat is a choice unless you have an eating disorder, like I've said before. Now, I feel like people just want to make excuses for themselves to make other people feel sorry for them. Like last video I did on this, they compared being black to being fat. And it honestly makes no sense to me because one is out of your control and the other isn't. And it blows my mind on how far people will go just to make an excuse for themselves on being the victim. Because, you know, that's the trend in 2022. Just be the victim and you'll get attention because daddy never gave it to you daddy's still getting milk in the fucking supermarket and uh, he never came back home so now they need attention this commenter says the idea that fat people are taking resources from thin people when there are literal bmi limits put on access to medical care they're the ones hoarding yes this this is the biggest thing i'm like we are literally the ones kept out of fucking everything we are literally the ones that things are not at all built for or designed for or anything i know i'm no einstein here but let me take a wild guess maybe things aren't built for you because you're not supposed to weigh seventy-five thousand fucking pounds like i'm not supposed to hear you when you get out of bed when you live in oregon and i live in california like the things like that are not supposed to happen literally making other people feel like it's okay to be lazy it's okay to be the victim because you're getting attention, so why should you care? It blows my mind on what people can do for attention nowadays. Then people take everything and then have the audacity to tell us that we're taking things. Thank you for this addition. Shout out to the bed, because that bed needs a medal of honor. The amount of weight it's holding up right now can only, I hope, break Guinness World Records. And now, I'm not gonna lie, Listening to him just makes me feel smart. Like, every time I hear him talk, I think that I'm actually Einstein and my IQ is above 300. Now, I'm done with this. 
I hate the, the reason I don't do these is because they make no sense and I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again. So this is probably going to be the last fat acceptance thing for a while unless, you know, somebody comes up on my radar. Now, if you want to watch the previous fat acceptance part, I think it was fat versus fat people versus chairs. I'll put the video right here. And if you want to watch the regular uh, daily Gen Z cringe, I'll put a playlist right here.